everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we have another mail call video. Now, I hope you all enjoy this playmat. I brought this recently for a good price, I feel like. This is literally the last playmat I've been looking for. I've been looking for it and looking for it because if you see on here, you have Blue Eyes White Maiden and Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon in the background, and up here you have the Millennium Eye. Uh, it's just a gorgeous playmat, honestly. And I've been looking for it. I finally f I found it. Apparently, from what I've been told, Amanda La Palm, if you're familiar with her art designs, actually made this. And so I've been looking for this playmat for a long time. They've always been about $30, $40, but I got it for a good deal from a friend of mine here down in Richmond. So I'm super happy I have this playmat now. This is literally the last playmat I needed for my Yu-Gi-Oh! mat collection, I guess you could say. So I'm very grateful about that. So. Let's open up some mail today. Um, I am working behind the camera, actually, so I do apologize if I, you know, hit the camera a little bit. But yes, we got some stuff today for some deck cores we are going to be building in the very near future. Like I said before to you guys, I have been out of town, so I have not been able to build deck cores because I'm not near my Yu-Gi-Oh collection, really. So hopefully, in the next week or two, I can be able to start working on deck profiles. So we have Bale Twin Dragon. I apparently got two of those. Uh, Metaphos, um, this guy you run in the Metaphos deck, Cup of Ace and a F Raid Raptor Force Tricks, which is just always good to have on hand. Uh, this is for the Bandit Keith deck that we're building uh, with the new, what is it, Desperado gun thing that's coming out. Cup of Ace, you can use that with second coin toss and some other things in the deck, draw two cards. Uh, this is for the Metaphose deck I'm building, and this is just extra stuff I could use because it's never too bad. I mean, the thing's are a dollar card. I remember when Four Strix first came out. I still have my original copies, but because um, I played Raid Raptors a lot uh, for fun with my buddies, so I still have a lot of the stuff. So you're going to be seeing some Metaphose stuff like right here. I'm not going to take it out because I have to get going after this, but there's two. If you can see the bottom, there's two of them. Met full Metaphost Alkahest. So I've got two of these. That new Metaphost card, guys, for the Link Monster. Oh my gosh, that's such a good card. Just for just for freaking Dino Mist, for Magician Pendulums, for just about any good magician, you know, pendulum deck. It's actually pretty good. For. So that's why you're going to be seeing some Metaphost stuff in this deck profile. We also got two Force Back. It's a cool little tech for the Counter Fairies. If you guys haven't seen this, like I just got two copies. They were about a buck a piece, but now they've gone up to like three, four dollars. It says negate the normal summon of a flip sum the yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> negate the normal summon or flip summon of a monster and return that monster to the owner's hand. So it's like a, it's a little it's a decent card. I mean luckily it sadly it does not say special summon two, otherwise I think that would have been broken back in the day, or even nowadays. But it's an older card from uh, Legend of um, Oh gosh, the same set that I think Light Swarm stuff came out of in back in GX. But it's just a decent card. I may try it out for two dollars. I think it was a two fifty total. Like I was just like, yeah, it's a card I've seen be played in the OCG actually. Uh, some players are playing this card in their um, counter fairy decks. But mainly what you're going to be seeing being played in counter fairies is you're going to have your Divine Providence with the Ritual Beast card like artwork on it, your strikes, your warnings, your judgments I've been seeing, um, your drop off, drastic drop off with the gadget picture on it. So things like that I've been seeing more than this. But this is a cool little tech you may want to try out depending upon the format if people are relying upon, if a deck's relying upon its normal summon a lot. Uh, to get their engine going, this could be a good card for it. Then we got one Phantom of Chaos. I just got an extra copy. These have gone up. Dear gosh, I got this for like a buck fifty, but like everything nowadays is like two bucks for these. Like even the super, the old supers I remember pulling out of Gladiator's Assault back in the day. Dear gosh, we were pulling those and we we're like, ew, nobody wants this. Nowadays, everybody wants Phantom of Chaos, is apparently. <laughs> All right, so they messed up here a little bit on my thing, but this is some of the Metaphose stuff you're going to be seeing. 
Um, like I said, we'll build building this when the Link monster comes out. Because right now, Metaphos, you could play them necessarily, but the problem is I don't think they would be as good without the Link monster. Ooh, we get a Recraze a card too. That's awesome. So we got Metaphos, Mithurium, two of those. Gold Driver, you may be asking why am I getting the rares. I don't care about the rarity. Your Metaphos Fusion and your Metaphos Full Metal Fusion. So. Basic Metaphos stuff. I have a lot of the stuff already, but I was just getting some of the stuff I didn't have. Because Metaphos stuff, even when it came out originally, they were about dollar cards. Like dollar fifty cards, I remember, when they first came out. Because everybody was playing Metaphos. Because it was a cheap, good deck. Um, but yeah, that's what I look forward to playing. I have a lot of the fusions already. This the Alkahest and the Mithrilium. That's the main things I needed, really. Uh, everything else was just, okay. Also, we got something cool here. I just picked these up because I'm probably going to sign these and give these away eventually uh, to people that meet me. But we have just some, because these are going up in price. I just got this for fun, just for my collection. Dark Magicians, Blue Eyes. Good, good. They're near mint. Thank gosh. Okay. I don't know what it is. This one's not near mint. That one's okay. And that one passes the bar. Okay. These are a lot better. Every time I've been getting freaking stuff from the original, you know, that, that's the parallel kind of rarity stuff from uh, Duelist Saga. It's been like damaged up the wazoo. But finally I get something that's not damaged. Like everything I've been getting out of Duelist Saga. If you didn't get it originally, like it's, it's not near mint. It's like cuts and scrapes. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing just the way they make cards nowadays. But hollow cards back in the day, they don't get scratched up as easily. I pulled stuff that's been in like a tin for five years, six years, you know, from like, gosh, GX or even freaking uh, 5Gs even. And it's not scratched up. Like, it's been in a box shuffling around, but there's no scratches on it really. Maybe there's some wear and tear on the edges, but the, 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 the card artwork itself is not scratched up. But when I pull, I see these new cards being pulled and like the box set just came out like five months ago. It's like all scratched up. It's like somebody took a knife right here and just went you know, like scratch, 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 scratch on my cards. And I'm like, what the heck? And it's just not with one vendor. It's with every card. It's like they scratch so easily nowadays is what I'm trying to say. It's amazing. But well, we got Gustav, a little bit of tape there apparently. Vampire Lord, that was just that just came with the, the Vampire Lord's awesome. I just got that for like goat format. Some Skellmeisters, that's what I really wanted, and the Gate Dragon for rockets. Because I'm trying to build that deck for you guys. We cannot cover off the Maiden. That's a sin against the Lord. But yeah. I guess new new they just don't make them as good as they used to. Like many things. Like, uh, good example, my PlayStation 2. That thing gets dust in it, I've dropped it, it's broken, but it still works. For some odd reason, my PlayStation 2 from like the early days and my Nintendo 64, it works. It's like a, it, it's rugged. But like when my PlayStation 4 or my friend's PlayStation 4, like he had it for a month. And this happened to multiple of my friends when PlayStation 4s first came out, they just broke like randomly. My PlayStation 4, 2, I got the day that set the thing came out, like a month after it came out. It's never broken once. It's just gotten dust and I've had to clean it out. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get why older things are just made better, it seems like nowadays. Boop. Uh, so here we got some interesting stuff you may be wondering about. We got Theseus and we got Kodorus. So this is for different water decks I'm building. Your Mako Tsunami dot deck. Uh, to help you go for rank fives with Sea Monster Theseus and maybe go for, you know, tuner plays, tuna plays, and then Cordos is good for legendary decks. This is just some things I'm just testing out, mind you. They were cheap. It was like, literally, that was two bucks, and Theseus didn't get the reprint, so even though it's the, considered the best card of 2017, I just wanted to try it out in some different fun decks, actually. So here we got something really cool. I love Pinko games. I'm just, I'm not trying to do that, but look, little dinosaur on the back. Your cards are here. It's so cute. I don't know who does their mailing over there, but whoever at Pinko Games. Hey, everybody out there. I'm sorry, but my uh, camera died there for a second. But we're just going to be opening up the last cards of Yu-Gi-Oh! here that we got for today's mail call video. So I do apologize about the camera dying. I didn't even know it was going to die. But we just have, like I was just saying or, uh, a minute or so ago, <clears throat> I love the fact that they make it so personalized. Your feedback helps XOXO. 
I love it, love it, love it. So what we have here is just some stuff for the future decks we are going to build. So let's go over some of them here. So, <sighs> Resourcefulness Insect and Jack Wyvern. Now Jack Wyvern, you may be asking why are you getting this card? This works well in the freaking machine deck I'm building that's supposed to be out, you know, with the, um, the coin flip deck that's coming out in February. Uh, that's a fun little archetype that's based off Bandit Keith. The Resonator Insect actually works well with the Weevil Underwood theme if you're trying to build it around the new insect support that's coming out. So that's a good card, just for like trying to build decks around those, uh, not necessarily put them in insectors is what I'm trying to say, just generic builds. Spinosaurus is something I'm trying out in some different decks. Harpy Lady number one is something I wanted. And I got another Fairy Box because I may run, a fa I need Fairy Box for the luck base deck. So all in all, um, not a whole bunch of things. Oh, by the way, fairy boxes have been seeming to go up in price, and it's not because of me buying them, <laughs> but they've just been randomly go up in price to like three dollars for a fairy box now. I notice. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this mail call video. Take care, guys.